another exciting speaker from the developer keynote, Caslin Fields. Caslin, thank you so much for being here with us today. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. <laughs> so, can you give us a little introduction? What do you do here at Google Cloud? Yes, I am a developer advocate with GKE, Google Kubernetes Engine, and open source Kubernetes. Uh, I'm also an ambassador for the Cloud Native Computing Foundation and a co-chair of one of the special interest groups in open source Kubernetes. <laughs> Wonderful. You are you have your hands in everything, I feel like. I see you everywhere. <laughs> I try to be. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Uh, great. So, you know, in the keynote, there was so much cool information that was presented. We talked to Richard, uh, we're going to talk to Chloe, but I want to zone, zoom in on a few sections that you presented, specifically about running and improving production AI apps uh, with Google Kubernetes Engine. So can you tell us a little bit about what's going on there? It was a lot yeah. of so <laughs> I think Kubernetes innately has a lot of features that make it a really good choice for running things in production. It's actually one of the things that makes Kubernetes kind of hard to learn is that it's designed for enterprise scale and being run in production. So it's kind of hard to find sometimes something small that you can do yourself. And it's a fantastic choice for AI workloads because AI workloads have such major hardware requirements. They need specialized hardware and they need a lot of it. <laughs> and that's what Kubernetes is all about is taking all of these machines with all of this different hardware and making them all available through the same system. That you can just say, hey, Kubernetes, I need to run this. It needs these things. Here are the machines you have. Go make it happen. So Kubernetes is innately very good with that. And at Google Cloud, we have GKE Autopilot. I was thinking about this earlier, and I was like, what really, what would be the easy button of like production <laughs> Kubernetes? And in the world of Google Cloud, we've tried to make GKE Autopilot that, where it automatically scales for you based on demand. It has a lot of security best practices built in and all of that kind of stuff. So there's GKE Autopilot for the uh, the production ready side of things and Kubernetes is innately really great for production and AI. So is that your earrings? Do you always keep a little GKE hardware with you at all times? Kubernetes, just in case? open source Kubernetes. Oh, open source <laughs> Kubernetes. Got it, open source Kubernetes, there we go. Uh, wonderful, okay, so in the keynote, you showed a chat app, right? What was going on in that chat app? Like, what's the front end? Walk us through that. So we were using the Symbol Shop, which is part of our suite of these like demo applications that we can show for different um, scenarios, different like verticals, I guess you could say, industry verticals, so you can show different things. Um, so Symbol Shop is really nice and flexible. And so we picked that and just like a chat app. I feel like that's the most common type of AI application that folks are doing. It's very approachable. Um, and the main goal of this was to explore um, customization of AI, making it understand what's in the store. So we have this storefront that has furniture, and we go into the chat app, and we upload a picture of my actual dining room. <laughs> and That Richard loved so much, yes. yes. <laughs> During a couple of the rehearsals, he called it drab. <laughs> Made fun of how boring it was, it was fantastic. <laughs> Um, but the AI didn't think it was drab. It thought it was traditional and classic. <laughs> and then it recommended a few things from the catalog from the shop that I might want to pair with those in the room. So, yeah. And actually, uh, can I get access to that? Because I'm furnishing my house right now and it takes so long. So this, the fact that it recommends to you something that might fit with a piece that you already have. Exactly. Oh goodness, hours, hours yes. saved there. <laughs> okay, so amazing front end. What about the back end? What's, what's the magic going on back yes. there? I'm so excited about that. So what we did is a concept called retrieval augmented generation or RAG. So there's a there's at least several, I don't know if a bunch is quite the right term, but there's at least several different ways that you could customize a large language model to work for your use case. I think that's really where the goodness is, what people want from the current AI revolution is AI that does what I want it to do, right? So we have all of these models now that are kind of generic, they know all sorts of things, and you want to teach it to be aware of your context. So RAG is one of the ways that we can do that. We actually have a different way of doing that show, that we're showing off here in the Innovators Hive as a, a demo. 
Um, but the one that we showed in the keynote, uh, RAG, is basically we take the request, we send that into the um, the, the la large language model, we get its its responses, and then kind of after that processing, it's kind of a pro post processing step. Uh, we have this database of uh, the the actual resources in the store, which it's not a real store, so sorry about that. You can't actually buy those things, but. <laughs> Um, it'll check through what's in the store and uh, kind of put together the final response based on real data so that you know it, it can also be used as like a fact checking methodology um, so it's a really cool way to add context and kind of fact checking to a large language models responses without changing the model itself yeah mm -hmm. which is wonderful right we want to get the best answers we can get and the least amount of hallucinations, right? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Wonderful. Okay, so of course the developer keynote is recorded. Make sure to check out the full thing to see Castlin's demo. But uh, now I want to get a little bit into off script here. Tell me a little behind the scenes. What's it like getting ready for a you know a huge keynote like this and such a large event? So it started months ago, of course. <laughs> um, I was talking to some of the folks who were running the dev keynote as they were starting to put the things together and they were like, hey, we think we might want to have you in for a section about GKE. Do you think you'd be okay with that? And I was like, yes, please. Please put me on the stage. <laughs> <laughs> I live to perform, darling. <laughs> so I think they went through several rounds of kind of figuring out what they wanted the narrative to be and what the pieces were going to be, who was going to be in it before they came to me with, hey, so here's where you fit into the whole picture. Now we need to build the demo, build out the script, make the whole thing happen. So at that point, like we're still a couple of months <laughs> away from the show um, and a, a few months <laughs> maybe. <laughs> and so we work on, start working on building out the demo. What could we do to really show off this feature or the, the concept of RAG, really, is that we wanted to show off. Um, and rehearsals. We had weekly rehearsals for over a month. <laughs> and we had our first in-person uh, rehearsal, actually in California, not here in Vegas. And then we had a couple here in Vegas, so all sorts of preparation went into this, and so many people. I also had KubeCon EU, <laughs> like not last week, but the week before I was in Paris <laughs> for KubeCon EU. Um, I guess two, three weeks ago, maybe. Uh, time doesn't make any sense anymore. But so I also had talks there and was doing all kinds of stuff for that. Um, so this could not have happened without the work of the team that was putting together the demo, the folks running the whole show. Jason Davenport was amazing yeah, putting yeah. together the script and making sure that the demo was coming together. Uh, Aja, Aaron, Olivia, you all are rock stars and thank you so much. <laughs> and I really want to highlight that as we're doing rehearsals and writing these things, the product is always improving, right? Yes. So, <laughs> Every you know, few weeks or something, it's like, oh yes, it's, it's gotten better, so let's tweak this or let's change that. So yes, a lot of work. And of course, you mentioned there is a RAG JSS, right? That developers can, or anyone really, can go try out for themselves. Yep, Jumpstart Solution, if you want to try out RAG for yourself, check that out. There's also the uh, architecture in the Architecture Center, if you want to just learn from the pattern and it, adopt it, <laughs> adapt it, I guess, to whatever you're working on. And then the demo, the, the shop, is available on GitHub. It's the Google Cloud microservices demo on GitHub, so you can do that too. <laughs> and we'll be linking all of these in the description so you'll know exactly where to find them. Thank you so much for being here with us today, Kasslin. An amazing job in the keynote once again. Thank Have you so much. Have a great rest of your next. Thanks, you too. <laughs>